Woo! Russell Maniac, aka Blu ray Maniac, aka Criterion Maniac, a limb daddy. Bow! <sighs> you guys are saying to yourself, Russell Maniac, what are you doing in a new room? And you know what? That's a very fair question. Me and my brother decided that we needed to switch rooms. My room was way too big for what the stuff that I had. He had way more stuff than I did. So we did that. Painted the new room, got put new flooring in it, all good stuff. It's done, with the exception of I got a bunch of posters to fill the walls with. So, um, so yeah, we're here in the new WrestleManiac dungeon. What's that? Mountain Boy. This is voltage. This is charged with raspberry citrus flavor with ginseng. So, gee, gee, gee. Mm. It's three o'clock in the morning, by the way. It's Saturday and I have to work. Okay. But, another thing I want to add. If you haven't tried these, So, I am here to give you my complete Criterion Collection haul for the month of July. Now, gaining weight as we speak, give me a second. I went ham sandwich with the Criterions. We all know this. Everybody did. So I'm going to show you every Criterion that I picked up. Um. I'll also throw them in in my update in another couple of weeks. I just won't go into detail about them. But before I do that, I want to show you the two. I only had two criterions before this haul. And that was The Game, starring Michael Douglas. Outstanding David Fincher film. 1997. Um, spy number. 627. This is an outstanding film, guys. Psychological, suspenseful thriller. Just outstanding. Comes with the book and all that good stuff. I got this off of eBay for $14.50 used. Um, and it's one of my favorite movies now. Love it, love it, love it. So that was the game. The next is the movie that I've just I've owned on VHS, on DVD, on special edition DVD. Finally got the criterion of it. It's a must own if you're a criterion collector. That's dazed and confused. Outstanding packaging there. You know, the little holes cut out for the, the, uh, the character spaces once you slide the, the DVD back in. You see here it comes with a poster, dazed and confused poster, which I'll be putting up comes with that awesome notebook style you know book there Richard Linklater directed it just an outstanding film you know about kids in their senior year of school and just partying and having a good time uh, 1993 when it was released stars um drawing a blank. You know how it starts. Matthew McConaughey. Mr. Alright, alright. Um, I think it's Jeremy London. I could be wrong. Don't shoot me. I know there was two London brothers. Um, ben Affleck. Just outstanding flick, guys. This is spy number 336. And that is dazed and confused. Those were the only two that I owned. Going into the hall, baby. So, you guys ready? <sighs> Hang on a second, let me get a little drink, a little Mandusky. Tennessee tailgate, by the way. I'm almost at 2,200 subscribers. Can you dig that sucker? Booker T, boys. Whoop! Alright. We're going to start it off 
with my Wes Anderson collection. Got every one of them on Criterion already. And we're going to start off with Bottle Rocket. I'm right in front of my shelves so I can easily. This was his, um, I may believe this is his debut. I don't know for sure. Owen, wrote, Owen Wilson co wrote it. Nin 1996. Um, spine number 450. I really enjoyed this one, guys. A lot of people didn't like it. I, I like the the way that Wes Anderson does these. He approves all of them for one, and then you got the cool little essays. But he, this is just part of the movie. You just have to see the movie in order to understand this. This is Owen Wilson's character's 75 year plan. But. Basically, the movie is about Owen Wilson um, and Luke Wilson are in a mental institution, and they break out. Which I mean, they didn't have to break out because they could have left at any time. And they basically go and rob people. Um, Robert Musgraves also in it, who's great. But it's just a great movie. It's, I don't want to give away too much of the movie, but it, I really enjoyed it. A lot of people didn't like it, but I've really grown to enjoy Wes Anderson's filmmaking, his humor. It's just, I really enjoyed it. So that was Bottle Rocket again at spy number 450. And next up we have one that I haven't got a chance to check out yet. That is definitely getting watched tomorrow. And that is the Darjeeling Limited, uh, Wes Anderson film as well. This one, I'm not exactly sure what year this was from. Um, I'm not sure. But it's all good. It's starring Jason Schwartzman, Adrian Brody, Owen Wilson. Um, and... I'm just going to read the, the back just because I'm not exactly sure how the movie is. It's about three brothers reunite for a, for a planned soul-searching train voyage across, in, uh, across India one year after the death of their father and everything that ensues involved. You know what I mean? So I'm sure I'll enjoy it. Again, Darjeeling Limited. This is spine number 540. Next up is... Uh, I almost forgot this one. Whammy Rushmore. Really enjoyed this one, guys. This is 1995. This actually was his, may have been before Bottle Rocket. It was. I apologize. This was before Bottle Rocket. Um, no. Okay, I'm confused. 98 is when this came out. I'm sorry. So it's the second one. I mean, I'm going to get there. Just give me a little time. Okay, don't comment below. I'm saying you're an idiot, WrestleManiac. Shut your mouth. Rushmore, sophomore project from Wes Anderson, outstanding film starring Jason Schwartzman, Bill Murray, and company. This is spine number 65. Again, another one that I just really enjoyed. Um, yeah, it's just basically a character piece on this character, on Jason Schwartzman's character, and. Um, him falling, you know, him finding a girl, and him just trying to figure out what his life's going to be about, and uh, I just really liked it. I, you know, it's, and again, it's an acquired taste. A lot of people didn't like Rushmore. I thought it was good, but another great one to add to the Criterion Collection. That's Rushmore. Next up, we have. The Royal Tenenbaums. May is my second favorite Wes Anderson film from these from these Criterions. Um, stellar cast. You got the Will. You got Owen Wilson, Luke Wilson, Gwyneth Paltrow, Bill Murray, um, uh, Ben Stiller, um, Gene Hackman, Danny Glover, Angelica Houston. It's basically about um, Royal Tenenbaum played by Gene Hackman. Him and his wife get a divorce. He kind of disappears for a few years. 
and it shows the kids all grown up and then basically he's wanting to get back into their lives after being away from so long, for so long and that's just basically what it's about the family trying you know it's kind of like one of those stories but it's such a good movie guys I, I just I've watched it twice actually and uh, I just really enjoyed it I watched the special features there's a ton of them on here this is um, 2001 and uh, spy number 157 and that is the Royal Tenenbaums the one I suggest you pick up if you're a fan of Wes Anderson of course you're if you're a fan of him you already got it I'm sure but next up is one I haven't watched yet but I can't wait to check it out 2004 and that is The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou or is this out I'm sorry starring Bill Murray um, spy number 300 uh, basically Bill Murray plays Steve Zissau who is an oceanographer and him and his crew um, set on an expedition to hunt down the mysterious um, jaguar shark that killed his partner during the uh, documentary they were filming previously I was just kind of paraphrasing because I haven't watched it yet but I've heard nothing but good things about it and Bill Murray is really in my he's in my top 10 favorite actors ever He's sliding his way into my top five because he's, every movie he's in is just incredible. His performance, at least. So, again, that's The Life Aquatic. And last but not least on the Criterions from uh, Wes Anderson is an outstanding one. My favorite one. Um, that is The Fantastic Mr. Fox. Stop motion animation movie. Uh, 2009. Um, spy number 700 this awesome digi packaging here you got this it opens up you got the DVD two disc set as well as the blu-ray you got that awesome booklet there it's just really cool these are the best things about the criterions to me is the booklets um, this movie is awesome <laughs> It's just basically about Mr. Fox, who is, who is uh, George Clooney, who's the voice for him. And it's basically about his family. He's trying to create a way to better them up for the rest of their lives. And um, it involves, you know, taking from, from, from people that is around him, which are, I mean, humans, obviously. He's a fox, but it's basically about him and his friends and family trying to survive and escape everybody that finds out what their plan is and uh, it's just really good it's a fun movie anybody the kids can watch it it's got no curse and it's real I wish he would do another type movie like this this is a really good good movie I thought it's fantastic Mr. Fox again that's number 700 and here we go we're gonna keep on with it uh, one of the first ones I bought in the Criterion my first run Suggested to me by Jordan Visual Expression 1981 film spine number 562 starring John Travolta that is blowout outstanding film Basically, he is a sound effects man. This is 1981 by the way He is a sound effects man, and he's out um, With his equipment and you know capturing sounds for his next picture. He does b-rated movie horror movies basically and he actually hears Somebody wreck and go into a lake and witness somebody being, you know, somebody dying. And basically, that is what the movie is about. He finds out that it's not actually a, it was a murder. He finds out it was a murder, so he's trying to piece everything together. And um, he used to be in the police force, so he's kind of got that mind state. And it's just a really good film. Brian De Palma film, who also directed Scarface, as you know. Just an outstanding. You see the cool disc artwork there. Really cool, um, you know, really cool booklet there. So, yeah, guys, really enjoyed this one. I suggest everybody check that out. It's the Blowout starring John Travolta. And next up, we're going to go to another one that I just love. Probably my favorite Criterion. It's going to slip its way into my top 20 favorite movies ever. 
That's James Kahn in Thief. It's a spy number 691. 1981 film directed by Michael Mann, who brought you Heat. Um, it's had two disc edition there. Um, cool booklet as well. You know, basically he's a professional thief and he is approached by a guy with lots of money um, and wants him to pull off this huge bank job. Um, and that's basically what the movie's about. But it's 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 really similar to Drive in the sense of the, the music, um, things like that, you know what I mean? Um, Tangerine Dream does the soundtrack, great 80's music, great themes, just a really good picture, my favorite picture from, I've seen from James Caan. Um, so that was Thief, yet again that's 691, spine number. Next up is a movie from 1984 starring Emilio Estevez, directed by Alex Cox. This is a uh, spy number 654, and that is Repo Man. Outstanding packaging there. One of my favorite packaged criterions that I've got so far. Comes with that cool looking comic book type deal. Um, I enjoyed this movie. It was weird. It was um, basically Emilio Estevez is just a punk kid that um, that becomes a repo man and, and a lot of supernatural stuff happens towards the middle end of the movie it takes a different twist but I really enjoyed it guys good 80's cheese like I said 1984 picture um, and I really liked it that's spy number 654 that's repo man and next up we've got a movie from David Cronenberg really enjoyed this one super weird 1983 Spine number 248. That is uh, video drone. That cool digi packaging there. You know, it's the cool looking videotape. You know, there's a cool booklet there with it. Um, basically, just about James Brooks is the main is the main star, um, and Sonja Smith and uh, Deborah Harry. Basically, it's about a videotape that makes James Brooks go crazy, hallucinate, and does all kinds of psychological stuff to him, and, and, and it's just basically what the movie's about, and it's really good, um, really weird, but it's a good weird to me, like, I like this weird, that it's, you know, 84, 1983, I'm, I'm sorry, but I just really enjoyed it, you know, uh, and that was a video drone, being spine number 248. Sorry, I'm a little bit calmer this morning, guys. It's a little early, and since it's Criterion, I figured I'd scale back because it's more refined. I should have been glass, drinking a glass of wine, but at 3 in the morning, if you're drinking a glass of wine when you wake up, you've got a whole other set of issues to worry about. Shh. Next up is, I haven't got a chance to watch this yet, but it's 1964, and it is The Beatles, A Hard Day's Night directed by Richard Lester. As far as I know, this is a this is spine number 711, by the way. Outstanding Digipack. Uh, I'm, and I feel like being you know real big into my music, I need to be getting up on the classic stuff. And I know some of the Beatles songs from the radio and stuff, but I don't just know the Beatles story like I should. And there's your DVD Blu-ray combo de doo there. With an outstanding, you know, booklet to go with it, with great pictures and stuff like that. So I really look forward to learning about the Beatles. I've heard mixed reviews about this documentary, but I'm sure I'll enjoy it. The main thing I heard about it that it was kind of all over the place, but it's fine for me because I don't know anything about them. You know what I mean? So it'd be a good start. And for 20 bucks, guys, this is a $40 set, $50 set. So it's the Beatles' Hard Day's Night, spine number 711. Another big massive son of a beast, and I'm going to be watching that this weekend. I cannot wait. I'm so glad I got this one. That is Red River, starring John Wayne. Spine number 709 there. This is a beast. Look at that. comes with not only the 
Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Both are two disc, by the way. Comes with a little, you know, the little SA deal. But it also comes with blazing guns on the uh, on the Chisholm Trail. It's the book, which I heard is out of print. So that'll be cool. I'll definitely be giving that a read. Um, but yeah, guys, I just can't wait to watch it. This is a 1948 film, 127 minutes. I got to get up on my John Wayne, man. I, I got to get all this stuff. I love westerns, and uh, as I'm getting older, I'm really loving them even more. It's spy number 709. Can't wait to check this out, guys. It's Red River. Next up is one of my favorite movies ever now. Uh, Breath of the Movie Guy told me it was his favorite. I've heard nothing but good things about it, and it's amazing. Directed by uh, Elia Kazan, written by Bud uh, Schulberg. That's Marlon Brando in On the Waterfront. Spine number 647. 1954 film. Outstanding movie, guys. Outstanding movie. You see the, the two disc, uh, that cool booklet. And I don't even know what to say. I'm just sitting here loving the, just reading, you know, the specs on it. Just basically, he witnesses somebody dying. And he's got mob ties, but he's trying to fight whether to stay with the mob and not say anything or, or let them know what's going on and it's just a constant struggle with that plus it's a love story mixed in it's just an outstanding movie guys I've watched it three times since I bought it absolutely love it it's on the waterfront spine number 647 and next up is a movie that I'm going to have to give another shot because first time around I just didn't really care for it that much He's really talky. Um, it's Richard Linklater. That's why I picked it up because he did Days to Confuse. It's a 1991 film. That's Slacker. Spy number 247. It's just a weird film. It's an indie film. But it's it's just a lot of talking. It's really good packaging though. Um, and I actually got this one for $14.99 because it was $19.99 with 50% off. Then I had an extra five dollars off so a coupon so I was able to get it for 15 bucks so and I didn't care for it a lot but at the same time I was really tired when I was watching it and it was hard for me to get into but I'm not going to get rid of any of these I'm going to keep them all um, I want to give it another watch though um, it says spine number 247 that's slacker next up is another one that people hated and I didn't like it the first time. But I watched it the second time and I appreciated it a lot more. And that's uh, David Cronenberg's Scanners. Of course, the head explosion scene is what everybody knows this for. Um, there's your combo pack, DVD and Blu-ray, and the book. Um, didn't like this near as much as Videodrome. This is a 1981 film. This was before Videodrome. Spine number 712. And granted, it's cheesy. Um, it's a little boring at parts, but it's better than I thought. It's better the second time viewing than it was the first time. Not the greatest movie, but still don't regret buying it. That's Scanners. I know that Jordan and um, a couple others didn't like it, and I I don't love it, but I don't hate it. You know what I mean? It's it's a it's an okay movie. Next up, we've got Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, um, directed by uh, Terry Gillum. Johnny Depp, Benicio Del Toro, 1998 film, spine number 175. Love that artwork on the cover. Love the disc artwork and love the booklet. Just super trippy film. I really enjoyed it though. It's got that trippy kind of feel like when you watch uh, Natural Born Killers. It's one of those kind. It's like it makes you feel like you're on an acid trip the whole time. And you've never even, if you're, I've never even been on acid, but I imagine that's what it would be like. <laughs> But it's a great movie, guys. Really glad to get that one. It's Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Next up is a Martin Scorsese film. You know, he's my favorite director, so I had to pick it up. Love all of his stuff. Haven't watched it yet. 
It's a 1988 picture at spy number 70. And that's the Passion of, or, sorry, the Last Temptation of Christ, uh, starring William Defoe. Uh, you know, Scorsese is my favorite, so I want to own everything he's directed, even the foreign films that he's got on Criterion. But look forward to checking this out. It's just one of those I got to get in the mood to watch because I know it's going to be depressing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's the Last Temptation of Christ. There's the. Wish it would have been a little bit more of a book. Uh, but nevertheless, going back to Scorsese, uh, one of my favorite parts about On the Waterfront is uh, it's got a uh, an interview with him about it. It's one of his favorite movies, so I thought that was cool. Next up, we got a Terrence Malick picture that I loved. I watched it twice. It's by number 651. It's a 1973 film. It's Badlands, starring Martin Sheen, Sissy Spacek. Absolutely loved this one. Loved it, loved it, loved it. You can't tell me that's not Mark and Charlie Sheen's dad. Look at that guy. His swag is ridiculous in this movie, by the way. Got that James Dean swag going, you know, what I'm talking about. Look at that. And Sissy Spacek was great in it. She she talks all country and it's basically about him being kind of a guy that's kinda of going nowhere with his life. And he runs into her. He was a trash man at the beginning of the movie, he runs into her. She's underage, but they kind of just hit it off, and they start talking. Her dad doesn't want anything to do with it, her to, her to deal with him, you know. He ends up killing her dad, spoiler alert, and then they just go on the run from there. It's a love story, but love it. It's bad length. Really becoming a fan of Terrence Malick, his films. Another Terrence Malick film, absolutely loved this, War Picture. Uh, Spine number 536, that's the Thin Red Line. 1998 film. Guys, there is so many great actors in this movie that I'm just going to go down the list. It's ridiculous how many there are. You ready for this? Sean Penn, Adrian Brody, Jim Caviezel, George Clooney, John Cusack, Woody Harrelson, Jared Leto, John C. Riley, John Travolta. I mean, I mean I'm skipping a lot. You know what I mean? Uh, those are the main the main characters. That I mean, stellar cast. Absolutely love this movie. I'm a big fan of war movies. Trying to get all of them together. Really enjoyed this one. This is spine number five thirty six, and that is thin red line. Next up, another one of my favorite movies. Now, guys, I'm so glad I picked this up. I'm really loving these classic films. That is Twelve Angry Men. Spine number 591. This is a 1957 picture. It's directed by Sidney Lumet. And it's basically about 12 guys that are on the jury that have a murder, a guy that's a kid that was accused of murdering his father. And the entire movie takes place in the deliberation room. Them trying to figure out if he's guilty or not at the beginning. Everybody but one guy thinks he's guilty. And because that one guy thinks he's innocent, they got to deliberate. And it's just a great movie, guys. So check this out if you haven't. It's 12 Angry Men. It's got great um, disc art. And it's got, it gives you a little breakdown of each one of the jurors. You know what I mean? Just an awesome movie, guys. I've watched it twice already. And all of them fell. Next up, 1997 film. Directed by Ang Lee. That is the ice storm. Spine number four two six. Absolutely love this one too. Uh, Steve minus the beard had great things to say about it, so I had to check it out. Uh, basically, it's just about a you know two you know, a group of people, a um, couple of different stories within the story. Um, you got um. Joan Allen, Kevin Klein, Toby McGuire, Christina Ricci, Sigourney Weaver, Elijah Wood, um, you know, just to name a few of the characters. And it's basically about these two, these two families, mainly. And just, it doesn't even get into the ice storm until like towards the end of the movie. It's basically building up these characters until then, but it's just an outstanding film, guys. Check it out if you haven't. It's um, spine number 426, it's the ice storm. Next movie is a 
Danny Boyle picture, 1994, spine number 616, you know, same guy that brought you 28 days later, 28 weeks later, uh, train spotting, and that is Shallow Grave. Really, really like this one as well. Basically, Ewan McGregor, Kerry Fox, and Christopher Eccleston have a flat together, and they're looking for a flatmate roommate. They have a guy who comes in, kind of a weird guy. Day after he's there, he kills himself. And they're like, what? They don't know what to do. So the whole movie, they're trying to figure out what to do with him, how to get rid of him. And it's just, I loved it. I thought it was great. Shot beautifully. I love Danny Boyle's directing. You know what I mean? So, uh, there's your desk there. That's what I say there, too. It's shallow Grave. Next up is a movie by Steve McQueen that I watched last night and I enjoyed it. 2008 film, spine number 504, that is Hunger. It's Michael Fassbender. Basically, it's uh, about Irish. These, uh, you know, it takes place in Ireland and this guy's, these guys are in prison and it just shows what they go through as IRA inmates. I mean, it's just, it, a lot of the parts of it are hard to watch, but just grabs you in. Just uh, really enjoyed it. It's the one a lot of people are picking up, and I see why. And again, it's Hunger, directed by Steve McQueen, spine number 504. Next up is another Western that I, I love the remake, and I can't wait to watch this, and I know I'm going to love it. 1957, spine number 657, that is 310 to Yuma. Just love the original. And I'm um, really glad to pick this one up. Can't wait to watch it. So, yeah, it's 310 to Yuma, directed by Delmer Daves, 657, slide number. And next up, we've got a Stanley Kubrick film from 1956 that I'm going to be watching this evening. I've heard nothing but great things about. And that is The Killing. Um, basically, talks about an ambitious racetrack robbery. It's basically what it's about. Uh, can't wait to watch this. It's spine number 575. Again, a 1956 film. Can't wait to check it out. That's the killing. And last but not least is the one everybody was wondering. Is, is WrestleMania going to get this one? Akira Kurosawa's Seven Samurai. Picked it up. Spine number two. 1954 film. 207 minutes. I had to get it, guys. I, I watched the trailer. I thought the trailer was awesome. And I just can't wait to check this out, guys. You got your disc one for the movie, disc two for the extras. Cool little book. And uh, I couldn't, I was going to be mad at myself if I didn't get this during the sale. Because I got it for $21. Because I got an extra 20% off. So I got 70% off of this. So it's Seven Samurai. And that is it, guys. That is my Criterion haul for the month of July. That's my Criterion collection so far. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, comment below, like, subscribe. 